Hey guys, Mr. Zanakis here. I just wanted to show you how you can export an STL file out of Onshape. So once you have the part and you're in the part studio that you want to, um, you're ready to print, first thing you do is export this file into an STL file to get it ready for printing. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can right click on the part studio and go to export. But later on down the line, as you might see multiple parts here, you might want to do that. You can create STL files for those individual parts. But what you should really be having right now is a single part. If you have multiple parts in your part studio, there's probably a modeling issue that you didn't mean to do that intentionally at this point. So find the part. It may say part one for you if you haven't renamed it. Here I call this part hinge. You know, right click on that part and go to export. Okay, so again, you can change the name of this for the file name, whatever you want to call it, the STL file. Um, I'm going to leave it as Part Studio 1 Hinge 1. It's fine. So the format, you want to click in there and make sure that STL is selected. <clears throat> it will be binary and that's fine. The units are important. Make sure that you select millimeter. Millimeter needs to be the default units because that is the standard base unit for most 3D printers, including ours. So make sure that's set to millimeters. The resolution you're going to want to set to fine. We're going to give it the best resolution quality that we want that we can have for the printer. And your options are to put this as a separate tab or do something else differently with it. Really, we want to just download it. We're looking to transfer this file and download it. So go ahead and hit OK. And then that will download to your either to your downloads folder, either on your Chromebook or on the PC that you're working on at the time. And then you can go ahead and retrieve that there to go ahead and use it. For the next step in your process however you choose to use that stl file